politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, the Buzz UG, a very good morning. My name is Amela Dzmilo, a.k.a. Fula. Guys, subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. And I'm coming to you with the biggest stories, making headlines in the country. Now, President Museveni's son, Jeno Muhozi Kainerugaba, has promised to build a statue of the late American rapper Tupac Shakur in his hometown. If our beloved brothers and sisters in the USA have not built a great statue for our generation's greatest African singer, I want to help. I want to build a statue of Tupac in his hometown. May the great man rest in peace. Well, that is a statement coming in from Jeno Muhozi Kainerugaba. Now, Tupac died in 1996 at the age of 25 after getting shot in the driveway in Las Vegas. He was one of the most loved rappers of his time in the USA. Even after his death, he has been celebrated every year and uh, his music is still sounding like, you know, he's still alive today. Well, in other news, a Kabali University student identified as Sarah Naturinda was yesterday found dead in her hostel room. Uh, the deceased was in her second year pursuing a Bachelor of Arts with Education. Uh, so far, police investigations have indicated that one person has been arrested on suspicion of murdering this university student. May her soul rest in peace. Well, in other news, American President Joe Biden's government has warned President Museveni and his government against enforcing the new law, uh, that is, the anti-homosexuality bill in Uganda. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has urged Kampala to reconsider the piece of legislation. Blinken said the new act is an attack on Uganda's human rights and it would also reverse the fight against HIV-AIDS. Blinken has therefore warned President Museveni on the implementation of this law. The anti-homosexuality bill was passed in Parliament on Tuesday, and I must say everybody in Uganda is very happy just waiting for President Museveni to assent his signature on this bill. Well, finally for now, President Museveni has written to the Inspector General of Government, Betty Kamiya Namisango, not to compel soldiers and other security personnel to declare their wealth no matter what the law says. Uh, the letter was copied to the Vice President, the Prime Minister of Uganda, and the Ministers of Internal Affairs, among others. Many Ugandans on different social media platforms have said, President Museveni has always talked about fighting corruption, but when it's time to put the fight into action, he protects the corrupt. So really, Uganda, ole <laughs> Well, there you go. Uh, those are some of uh, the latest stories making headlines in the country. And I don't know what you think about these stories. Uh, but in case you have anything you want to say about these stories, uh, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fula, And it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.